Aloha, Nerd and Geeks. I'm Garrick. This is Van. Hello. Uh, welcome to First Impression Tabletop Reviews. And today we get to cover an amazing atmospheric drama type of game. Adventure right? Adventure game. Adventure, Adventure game. game. There we go. Escape the Dark Castle, uh, which was uh, introduced to me this week. And uh, I think you introduced this to me. Yeah, just and, the other day. Sure. Yeah. Uh, tell me a little bit about it because this looks really kind of gritty. Yeah, uh, this was a game that was actually on Kickstarter. I think they're, I don't think they're from America. I think it's like a British company. But yeah. they based this game on um, old style 80s Dungeons and Dragons. That's why the art looks as gritty as it does. And it's a very dark theme game, but it's cooperative. So it's a cooperative dice rolling game where you're prisoners in a dark castle that are trying to escape. Someone let loose your shackles, you run out and you find something in a box and you try to escape by going through all these cards. Right. And then you need to fight a boss in order to actually leave. So you're basically you're trying to survive and just mm -hmm. get out of the mess. Absolutely. Wow, wow. Uh, so I notice if this is the entire game, it's very minimal. Oh yeah. Right? Uh, it takes, you know, 15 minutes to play, too. Really? Yeah. Real easy to set up, real easy to play. And I noticed that these there's special dice over here. Like, this one says Abbott. I'm guessing this one dice is the whole character? Yeah. The so game? all you need to play the game is your character, which is your card. It tells you how many... Uh, you have a special die as well. It tells you how many times you're going to be able to roll certain dice uh -huh. or uh, certain symbols on the dice. You have three different symbols for uh, might, wisdom, and... I forget what the last... It's not perception... Is that charisma or something? Yeah, it's, well, it's a Cleverness? Set, yeah. Clever? Sure. Being clever. Clever. <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, so uh, basically, let's, let's run over a brief scenario of this game. Okay. Show the so, audience how it works. Okay, so the first thing you're going to do is you're going to take one of these five cards. These are the bad guys or the final bosses uh, randomly. Go ahead, take one. Okay. Okay. And then we're going to take your regular castle card, put that on the side, and then you're going to take 15 cards. Six, seven, eight... That's 15, right? Yeah. I know how to count. Yeah. Great. Okay. And then you're going to put the castle card on top. Okay. And this is an atmospheric adventure game, so you need to really be in the mood. Play some nice, you know, mood music over some candles. and. Oh, I'll do that for you guys right now. Ooh. Amazing. Amazing, right? Mm -hmm. Amazing. Then you're going to turn this card over and read what it says. Okay. In your most thematic voice. After years of incarceration in the depths of the dark castle, you finally break free of your cell. In a small stone room adjoining the cell block stands an odd wooden chest. The lock is open. Draw an item card per player now. Okay. So you'll get an item. Okay. Uh, this is a healing verse. Wow. Whenever you roll a double, you may restore one HP to any character. Okay. Okay. Uh, so I got a cracked axe because we can't get anything good out of a box outside of our cell. So this cracked axe will give me uh, an extra die in combat or an extra bonus in combat. Um, so you're going to take your die for your character. So okay. you've chosen the abbot and you have the die of the abbot. Right. And I've chosen the cook because, you know, cooks are very strong. Apparently. Yeah. Okay. And they get locked up for making bad food. I only make good food. <laughs> okay, so each of your dice has a bunch of different symbols, as it says over here, and they have a special symbol on two sides. Okay. So there's shields on two of the sides, and there's also double symbols. Okay. Okay. So first thing you're going to do is draw the next card. Uh, the rest of the card just says, you know, flip it over. And we're going to choose cooperatively who's going to flip it over, because if you go, something bad could happen to you. I Otherwise, see. we're going to fight something together. Oh, okay. So it's kind of like the first guy goes through the door first, yeah. he makes the first experience, and we see what happens from and there. And that's you. Of course, because I'm the abbot. I'm a man of faith that illegally did stuff. I'll be cooking in the back. Yeah. <laughs> All right. A hooded man approaches. He looks cautiously over his shoulders, then whispers, asking if you wish to trade. Each player choose one option. Trade, discard any item, and draw two more. Negotiate. Try to roll a double in one attempt. Okay, so this basically says that uh, you can give this guy an item, 
you know, he looks very, very uh, trustworthy. Hey, kid, you want to buy a potion? Okay. So you can trade your item and get two items, or okay. you can try to uh, negotiate with him by rolling that die. And remember, two of these symbols are doubles. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Or, and if you fail, nothing happens. If you succeed, you'll get to draw an item for free. Okay. Well, you know what? I, I, I just kind of escaped. I just got this. Mm -hmm. He's he's in a prison giving trading stuff away. I, I don't know if I'm comfortable with that. Well, I mean, okay, go ahead and try to roll your die. Okay, I will roll it. Here we go. Nothing. All right, nothing. so I don't like cracked axes, so I'm just going to see what kind of wares he's going to give me for free. And uh, he, he gives me some distilled wisdom and an elixir of insights. So you can have a max of two items total, and I'm just going to keep these. These are better. See, you should have just traded with him. Yeah, but that's wrong, man. <laughs> he's a crazy crackpot that's in a dungeon for some reason. He's still alive. Okay. I mean, he obviously has good stuff. Okay. Okay. So uh, we'll go on. Let's see if you can find something to fight. All right. Kick it down the door again. All right. <laughs> Without warning, a swarm of giant bats burst into the passageway. You only cower beneath the overwhelming blur of wings and fang. As the bats swarm past each other, in turn must roll their character die, along with three chapter die. After rolling, a player loses one HP. Okay, so these are special dice called chapter dice. These have two of each of the symbols on them, of the eye, the fist, and the asterisk. Okay. Okay. So you're gonna need to roll your die, okay. along with three of these dice, and for every one that you match, let's see, for every one that you match here, you'll need to take damage for. So I matched one, so I take one damage. Okay. Uh, we start off with a certain number of HP, and we have a little pad here to- Oh, this game comes with the pad and paper. Well, I mean, it's important, you know, back in it the is. 80s to have a pad and paper. Yes, it yeah, matches so, the theme, right? So I'll take one hit, so I'll write my name here, Van, minus one. Okay. Okay. And you go ahead and roll three, and your die. Oh, well, you take two damage. And I take two damage, yes. You're wow. Great, you're great at rolling dice. I am. Okay. It's so good. So it's, good. I keep botching my rolls. <laughs> All right. Let's see if we can find something this way. Oh, okay. Okay. So this one is a uh, this one is a beautiful card. Okay. I mean, Why I'll read it because you know you don't want to get damaged. But okay. it says several armed figures spring from the shadows and attack. You become separated, and each player must fight alone. Uh, normally, in these types of situations, we're all fighting the same guy. Yeah. So we're going and we're trying to beat him, and if we don't, then he damages us. Okay. Every turn. But this one is you know groups of or a band of brigands, and we're fighting alone. So we need to roll a chapter die. One. Okay. Okay. Put it in front of you. And this represents the bad guy. The okay. Brigand. Okay. So these are the bad guys. So basically, anytime the chapter dice is rolled, they represent what the bad guy brings. Yes. And an obstacle to overcome. Yes. Okay. So you roll your single die. Okay. And you try to get the same uh, type of die or type of uh, symbol. Okay. Uh, if you don't, you'll take a damage unless you rolled that special shield. Okay. Okay. Let's see. I don't. Okay. If you want to, you can discard an item and not take a damage, but they only do one damage to you, so you should be fine. Okay. The cook is awesome, and I managed to defeat my guy. Uh, but you take a damage, so I'll take a negative one. Okay. You. Okay. And do we keep fighting the same guy until you we keep leave? fighting until you die? Really? No, I'll come and help you. Okay. Okay. Oh, you can do that. You can, can help another person. After you after I'm done doing my duty, then I can come and help you. Okay. Okay. So go ahead, roll your die right, one more time. See what happens. Oh. Okay. So you succeeded, and you've also not taken any damage. You wouldn't have taken any anyway, but it was just one die. Okay, excellent. And he dies. Wow. Now, your reward for winning is we get to draw a card. Here you go. So anytime we defeat something, we mm -hmm. always get a chance to pick up something else. You get a single card, yes. So are we, like, looting a body or something? I mean, if you want to put it that way... Yes. Yes, absolutely. yes, absolutely. That's what did like, you get from the corpse of the bandit? <laughs> Partially rotten apple. Hey, you Food. won a prize. I did. Discard to restore one HP to your character. You should eat that. I should eat that. Mm -hmm. He would eat that because he's been in prison for for a while. Partially rotten apples are better than fresh apples. Excellent. Okay, uh, so say we go through the whole deck and okay. we come to the last person, right? All right, so we finished everything and, you know, we're perfectly healthy because we're amazing. Okay. Well, the cook's amazing. Are. You are. I have great taste. Great taste. Okay, so go ahead and read that last card. Okay. Uh, whatever it is. Mm -hmm. I won't look. I'm kind of nervous about reading this card. Okay, let's see what happens. The Dark One. 
Your pitiful trinkets are no match for my dark magic. As you enter the Dark One's presence, any items you are carrying vaporizes. Discard them now. So, the healing verses that goes away, and oh, well, I ate my rotten apple. You so ate your apple. I did. <laughs> and then I noticed over here there's little chapters already rolled. Yeah, so what that means is that you're gonna have those dice out, so you're gonna have three of those asterisks, okay? And one of the eyes, okay. is that what it is? Yeah, and one eyeball, four asterisks, and one okay. Right, okay. And then you're gonna roll, for this little symbol here is one per player. So you're gonna take these two dice and pick our fate. Our game. Oh, fist. Okay, so great, you have So this fists. is this is our obstacle to Yeah, so oh. we need to beat him using that, and every round that we fail, we take three damage. Wow, really? Yeah. Okay. Well, he's the dark one. He's he like is the, the dark lord one. Of the, yeah. Lord of the castle. Sure, for of now. The dark castle. Yes. Okay. And in order to escape, we need to beat him while still being alive. Uh, all, however, if one of us die, the other one can still escape the castle. Really? Yes, absolutely. Okay, so it's co op, but every man for himself, too. It's a friendly game. Friend, wow. It's, it's an atmospheric game. Mm hmm. Anyways, okay, so we just roll the dice and see what happens. So you just roll the dice, you keep taking damage. All right, here we go. So, I rolled two fists. Well, That's I awesome. got... Oh, I rolled the wrong guy. Yeah, I about to ask. There we go. I rolled two fists. Okay, so I okay, rolled Okay, so we two. both rolled shields, so we don't take any damage. Oh, We're nice. beating this guy quite nicely. Okay. Okay, and we'll move okay. on. Get that one. one of those way. Okay, so we didn't beat him. He still has one chapter die left, so we both take three damage. Okay. okay. Wow, that's, that's a blow. That's a blow. That's a blow, yeah. Okay. And we beat him. And we beat him okay. together. So we get to escape the Dark Castle. Congratulations. Wow. Still alive. You know, we flew through those chapters. You know what I feel like? What's that? Shawshank Redemption right now. <laughs> Got through the tunnels and you got good. through. Yes, yeah. got through all the shit. <laughs> it's really good. Uh, that spoon, though. Yeah. Okay. Anyways, uh, wow, this is a fascinating game. Thank you for introducing me to this because at first, that's my first impression was I'm looking at the box and I'm thinking, nah, eh, it really didn't mean anything. I mean, it's just a black and white cover. It's really almost like this hand drawn look, and it really looked old school retro kind of thing I wasn't into it until we started playing the game mm -hmm. and that's when it started getting fascinating uh, because it is very atmospheric uh, it is it is it really reminds me of games from the 80s uh, computer games and even uh, Dungeons and Dragons it's absolutely really kind of gritty um, where you're not trying to adventure you're trying to survive yeah yeah you know, and escape uh, it reminds me of that game Dark Castle from the Macintosh yeah back in the day. yeah yeah um, same type of color I mean Black and white, obviously. But there's no color at all in this game, which right. really gives that gritty feeling that you're really trying to escape. It's yeah. Really grim. Uh, also, the game is so simplistic. I mean, this one die, mm -hmm. that's your character. Oh, yeah. And it's customized per the character, so you don't have to do a lot of research, mm -hmm. like the old school Dungeons and Dragons, where you have to cross-reference charts and whatnot. It's, it's very simple. Simple, at its best. Absolutely. It's simple to die. Simple to live, you know, simple to make great rolls and uh, eat rotten apples. And eat rotten apples. Which, it, it, if I was in prison and I didn't really get much food, yeah, I'd totally eat a rotten, rotten apple and something else, maybe. I don't know. I'm just saying. <laughs> Anyways, folks, uh, I'm Gary. This is Van. That's our first impression of this amazing game. Go and check it out. Uh, and thank you guys for watching. So, until then, play more games. Hi everybody, thank you for watching my video. We appreciate any kind of feedback you guys can give, so leave a comment below or give us a like and subscribe. Any kind of news is good news to us. Also, if you're in Honolulu, Hawaii, check out the Armchair Adventurer. Here at the Dole Cannery, you guys can try games, you guys can purchase games, and you can meet a lot of individuals that might help you out too. Other than that, if you come to Armchair Adventurer, get your game on.